Hey everyone, Coach Frazier here. Um, this week we're gonna be doing hitting and striking. So that's like using a baseball bat or your hand or a um, tennis racket, something like that to hit an object. So not your brother and sister. And um, you're gonna hit or strike the object. Um, and sometimes you can do it as a game. You can do it, maybe you're just making like a, a target on the wall or something like that. So I have devised a very fun game for us this week, and it is something that we've sort of played in the past at school on rainy days. So if you are at Markham Elementary School, you might remember this game. We play it with uh, large dodgeballs, um, and we set chairs up in the middle of the room, and we try to throw the ball over the chair or hit it with our hand over the chair, kind of like volleyball. And if it goes over the chair and bounces on the floor, it's a point for you. But if it goes over the chair and the other team catches it, it's a point for the other team. So at home, you can play this game. You have to play it with at least two people. Or you can play with your whole family. If there's four or five of you, you can split up on either side. Um, it's kind of like playing ping pong or tennis or something like that, but a little bit differently. I'm going to use little ping pong balls, and I'm going to hit them with my hand. Just as good as a racket, right? nice and hard okay so I'm gonna show you what the field should look all like I've done all I've done is set up some chairs in a nice row right here um, and it's just to show you one side again and the other side so here's one side and here's the other side you want to make sure that you hit the ball over the chairs right so how you play so here's how you play one person starts with the ball they hold the ball and they smack it with their hand and try to knock it over the chairs. The person on the other hand is trying to catch the ball before it hits the ground. If they catch the ball, they get a point. If they miss the ball and it touches the ground, then you get a point. If you hit the ball and it goes out of bounds, then there's no point and you reserve. Or you can kind of do your own rules, however you want to do it. Okay, when you play this game and you hit the ball, you can hold it in your hand like this and use your hand flat this way and just smack it, right? You can do it on the side arm like this. You can throw it up in the air and hit it before it hits back in your hand. Um, you can also do it overhand, so it kind of looks like this. I'll show you some easy ways to hit it. I'm gonna hit it against a wall for practice because it'll hopefully bounce right back to me, okay? So here's kind of an underhand hit. All right, that one went up in the tree, okay? So that was underhand. This one is gonna be side hand, side arm. Just like that. This one's gonna be overhand. And that's the easy one. And then this one's gonna be, I'm gonna toss it up in the air and try to hit it. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna play against my wife. Say hi, Natalie. Hello. It's my wife, Natalie. Um, so we're gonna play a game and the rules are this. When you hit it over, you have to either hit underhand like volleyball or sidearm. You cannot hit overhand since we're gonna be so close to each other. Um, when you hit it, if the other person across from you catches it, it's their point. If they miss it, it's your point. Pretty simple. If it goes out of bounds, so here we're playing on the grass. If it goes out of bounds, then you reserve. Okay, so here we go. We're going down! Let's scoot back a little. Right there, that's good. No, 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 not overhand. I just said the rules. All right, she messed it up. Zero points for her. Oh, oh, point for Natalie. All right. Oh, I missed the catch. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Why well, wasn't looking? Good job. Keep going. Keep going. Good job. <laughs> ah, point for Coach Frazier. There we go. Coach Frazier, so that would be my wife's, my wife gets to hit it. Here you go, here's the new one. Okay, get back a little, right there. Hiya! You're going to Whoa, off the tree! Yeah. Yeah. This is pretty fun. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Fastball. <laughs> All right. 
And that's how you play. I, I think I just lost to Natalie. I think she beat me, but I'll beat her next time. Okay, everyone, now it is time for our weekly workout. Um, so for today, you're gonna be doing three different exercises. I want you to do between three and five rounds of it. Some of the exercises you're gonna be doing for time. Other times, we'll, other uh, exercises you will be doing it um, as reps, okay? So the first one is simple. It's called high knees, and you're gonna do it for 30 seconds straight without stopping. Okay, so it looks like this. Your knees should be driving up and down and up and down like you're running in place but bringing your knees up as high as possible like this ready and go just like that for 30 seconds next up you will be doing a squat but not a full movement squat you're gonna hold your squat okay so you're gonna go down into a squat position. Your knees need to be at 90 degrees. Your chest should be up, not forwards over your legs. And uh, you're gonna sit there in a squatted position for 30 seconds again, just like the same amount of time you did for high knees. So 30 seconds in a squatted position. So you should look like this. Squat, and then you hold it. You can put your hands here, put them down on your knees, over your head, whatever you want. But notice, so I'm gonna stand up and show you. Notice my, sh my chest is gonna be up. I'm gonna pretend like I'm just seated in a little chair, okay? My knees are gonna go straight down to 90 degrees. Like this, I'm gonna hold it. I find holding my hands up is a little more easy. Hold this for 30 seconds, okay? That's our second exercise. So our third exercise is gonna be called monkey hops or some people call them like uh, bo lateral box jumps or something. Um, you're gonna find something that's maybe a foot off the ground, uh, maybe six inches off the ground. And you're basically gonna jump over it from side to side and you're gonna pause on each side. Don't just do it quickly because I don't want you to hit the object you're jumping over and fall over onto your face or injure some other part of your body. So today I'm using a trap bar, which is a weightlifting bar. And I'm gonna be jumping over both of the two bars that um, are on either side parallel. Okay, you don't have to use two bars. You can use one thing, it doesn't matter. But here's how I want you to do it. I want you to do 20 reps like this. So lateral, one, two, three, four, five, six, like this. And then you can speed it up. Seven, eight, nine, 10. 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So you're doing high knees for 30 seconds. You're doing hold a squat for 30 seconds. And then you're doing 20 lateral jumps or monkey hops or whatever you want to call them. Okay. Make sure you do all three of those exercises at least three times through. Three rounds at least. I'd like, to, I'd like you to do five though if you can. Okay. So have a great week and I'll see you next week.